Okay, so I'm going to go over a few things with Toxic Biohazard here. Uh, first, we're going to set the volume of all of our oscillators. We're going to have four of them, one, two, three, and four. First oscillator is going to be the noise one. Also, be sure to set your units and voices to four. So noise two. Second will be square. Third one will be square as well. Fourth one is going to be the organ. Set your frequency offset about 0 0.01 hertz on each individual dial, give or take a few, just to give it a little bit of change. Too much, it'll start to sound like a phase, but just enough is good. Unison detune, you can have it at around 17 or 18. Feel free to adjust that later. Your unison pan around 40%. Glide time, that's just the time shifting between notes. 5% sounds pretty good for what we're trying to do. Make sure your master volume's not over the top so that it's peaking, so bring it down just a little bit. And you can have your drive at 5 to give it a little bit of crunch. Next is the pitch assignments for a few of these. So, noise to square, the third one is going to be negative 12. And organ, which is our fourth one, we're going to go up 12. And on the third one, we're going to change the attack just a little bit. Next is the LFO assignment and basically the volume of each. So for the first LFO we're going to bring it up to 100 and then the second one to 25 so that uh, relates to LFO 1. Next for also be sure to um, then move LFO 3 up to 25 on alpha 2 there. Then you're going to change your sync on the left one to 2 sixteenths and your sync on the right one alpha 2 to 4 4 so it's almost in regular time just you know four beats in a measure. Next under MIDI you're going to take your source and your source is going to be alpha 1 Destination is going to be filter res. You're going to change your mode on your filter and also adjust your resonance. But before you do that, make sure your uh, the amount is at 100. So now I just changed it to the mode to LP and increase my EG amount. And you can fool around a bit with your LFO amount. So the variables you're dealing with here are EG amount, LFO amount, cutoff, and resonance. So let's boost the EQ just a tad bit. So we can tune it as we like until it sounds correct.
but um, there's things that you can do in regards to the EG amount if it sounds short. You can change your resonance, change your cutoff, as well as change the speed of your LFO and your EQ. So certain sounds are highlighted more than others. But most importantly, there's a few other things that we can change to make things sound richer. Still not 100% happy with the product yet. So we're going to go to FM2 on oscillator 1 and bring it up to about 25. We're going to experiment with the sound. So if we bring it up, it's too crunchy. So I'm going to adjust the EDC D2 and the panning. Try it one more time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video. Have a good day.